Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to try block painting for the first time. I got this kit from my local art store and they had different kits from what I understand. They're just different kinds of colors for different images. Uh, so it's basically just the color, I think, maybe with instructions. And apparently there's also a YouTube video on how to create the exact image that's shown in the front. In this time it's a dandelion that they made with the block paint. And here we can see all of the colors. This has a very natural bluish pinkish scream and I just love the colors they chose. They're some of my favorite colors anyway, so I'm really happy to find this set actually because I didn't really like the other sets as much. Although the colors still were pretty. And sadly it's only the colors and no instructions. So let me try out something on this paper. Personally I've never really seen anybody do proper blob painting so I have no idea how it works. At first I thought it was to put down a big blob and then put the colors directly on top of it while it was still wet. But that didn't seem to work because the colors would just like flow into each other. Which was still a really neat effect but not what I was going for. So I made some basic blobs and let them dry and then added color on top. These were pretty small so the color immediately ran off but I expect them to work at a larger scale. And they actually dry pretty 3D. Although they say to let them dry for one day per layer. I decided to not make the dandelion. Instead I wanted to make a cool colorful sheep. So I sketched it out and then went in with some acrylics just for the background and the grass. I purposefully made the legs a bit longer because first of all the blobs were going to cover them and I also planned on adding grass that was a bit higher that would cover it a little bit. So I wanted to kind of have them show through and looks like it the sheep was really standing inside of the grass. And I also made sure to use the colors and paint the edges of the canvas. The last thing I want to do before adding the blobs is to add the face color just to shape it out properly because the 3D blobs could totally get in the way when I want to do that later and I don't want to color over the blobs. And afterward it was finally time to start making the blobs. This actually took quite some time in the beginning because I didn't really know how to move the colors on the canvas and how the paint would spread out, but I got the hang of it pretty quickly. And as you see I have to work in sections because of course the paint has to dry and I wanted to fill up the whole base of the sheep and touching colors would merge into each other, so every time I wanted to add a new color that would kind of come close to the other colors I would have had to let it dry for a couple hours. They said a day, but I guess that's just for putting stuff on top because the paint on the outside was pretty much dry after like four to five hours. So I could easily add the other blobs for the first layer without anything merging or happening. And this actually took me a full day to just fill in the first layer. And I went in really random making sure that the colors are mixed and not really touching each other. Like making sure not the same colors touch each other. 
There was one area where the blob got a bit weird, but you know, I don't really mind. I guess it's just, you know, nature where random things happen. And you know, I just roll with it. Luckily for the second layer, since the colors wouldn't be touching, I didn't have to wait for separate sections to dry, so I could just add the colors randomly on top of random blobs. And I put three blobs on the misshapen dark greenish blob, just to, you know, break it up a little bit and make it look more... I want to say floofy, because it's a sheep, but I hope you know what I mean. Also, I decided to add some random flowers on the bottom and I just made some tiny dots and then added a tiniest bit of white in the middle. And I think they actually turned out really, really cute. And after the second layer dried for a day, I could finally add the third layer. I never really expected blob paint to take this much time. It always looked like the people were just adding blobs on blobs on blobs, but in reality the having to wait a full day for the things to dry until I can put the next layer and having to wait even longer to add the blobs that would touch each other in the first layer wasn't really planned, but it was actually quite a lot of fun. I was really looking forward to adding the next uh, layer of blobs once the others were dry. It had a kind of therapeutic effect to see the colors run and uh, like spread on the canvas in a nice circle clean fashion and then having the ability to layer them on top of each other and get this nice 3D effect was really really fun. And I think this sheep turned out so fun. I think it's a really classy, colorful sheep. <laughs> and personally, I'm super happy about how 3D it looks and how the like blobs look like little blobs of wool. So as I said, I found this really therapeutic and actually it was a lot of fun. So I think this would be a great and easy project. The paint has the consistency like kind of in between flow paint and acrylic paint. So it's slightly more runny than normal acrylic, but slightly less runny than flow paint. I don't know if you can mix them yourself, but if there is a recipe out there, I'm sure you can find it just by Googling. And I think it would be a great family project because I think like kids could also do something pretty fun with that, like fun animals with fun, colorful blobs. And maybe just also flowers like they suggest and stuff. Some of the other sets, I think they had included like a fish and stuff that you could color. And the basic idea behind this, they're just providing the paints and you painting the picture so you have all of the creative freedom and color choice. Anyways, let me know in the comments down below what you thought of my little colorful sheep and actually if you've ever tried block paint and what your thoughts were about it. I hope you're having a great day. Bye!